last year. Finished up last year very strong in the NCAA tournament. Continuing that here now in his senior season. Tip controlled by New Mexico. Gibson with the ball out to Simpson. Arizona State starts in a man-to-man. -man. The Lobos will look to pound it inside when they can to Kenny Thomas. Much more of an offensive threat than the other post player, Sean Simpson. Just underway. Glad you're with us tonight. Mike Powers along with Nelson France courtside with you. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Baseline. Simpson. Clayton Shields has it blocked. Gets it back. Five seconds. Four on the shot clock. And there's Shields to put it back. We saw there Clayton willing to take the three, but also because of his leaping ability, he can take it inside against the taller players. Shields averaging 16 points per ball game. Leading rebounder for New Mexico, 17 and a half. Or six, uh, seven and a half, rather. It's Veal. He can put it up. He's wearing number 21. Now they go inside to the freshman. Turnaround jumper is good. That's a Z-Wall averaging about four points per game. And here's that pressure. I don't know if they want Sean Simpson breaking the press. Uh, they want him back there because he's tall and he can look over all the, the double team. Yeah, they definitely don't want that to happen. Simpson off the dribble trying to drive it to the hole, not that far from the basket. Uh, uh, he's a designated non-dribbler, I think, is what Coach Bliss wants him to remember. Just underway, two all. Arizona State, a slight favorite coming in. We'll have a whistle inside and a blocking foul on Ozewo. He picked off one of the Lobos who was trying to come out and cover run. Let's look at Bill Frieder, now in his seventh year at Arizona State. 113 wins, 73 losses. That was the real Bill Frieder, right? <laughs> yeah, there, there's a, a student body here, a group that uh, dress, dresses up like Frieder in his uh, sloppy attire, I guess we'll call it that. Inside to Thomas, good position, and he puts it in, the freshman. The bus driver. The bus driver tonight, that's right. 4-2 our score, New Mexico. Deal off the screen, Brewer now, hesitates, goes in nicely to Ozewo, and they'll say it's off New Mexico. The officials tonight, Mark Reichling, Bob Garibaldi, and Ron Filson. I don't think they uh, ref in the whack, these guys. No, they're Pac-10 officials. I think we've seen uh, Ron Filson before, but not very often. Good defense inside. Lucky bounce goes to Beal, and he ties it up. How about this pressure, Nelson? Well, they look to double team as soon as they can. Try and force you to do something you do not want to do. Like that. But Charles Spider-Smith with a break and the foul on Ron. One of the things you don't want to do, Mike, is pick up your dribble without someone to pass it to. The Lobos did that earlier. David Gibson got double teamed. That's what got him in bind. And here's Spider Smith. Little hang time. And Smith will go to the line for two. Gets the first one, averaging 71% free throw per, uh, shooting percentage at the line this year for Smith. Second one is also good. 6-4 our score. New Mexico with the early lead. It's Quincy Brewer with the ball in the corner. Beal will take it. In and out, no good. And it's tipped up and out. And Kenny Thomas comes away with it. That was a big rebound because Kenny had been pushed up underneath the basket. Smith, too long. Shields with the offensive rebound. Spinning in beautifully. Four points now for Clayton Shields. And Smith will be charged with holding Riley right there. And that's a tall order for New Mexico because so far they, they don't really have a designated defensive player, if, you're, if you will. Someone that you can count on to help shut down a lot. Yeah, uh, Coach uh, Bliss wanted to start out with the guy right there, Clayton Shields, on Riley. But because they set so many picks... Everyone will end up on him for the most part, except big guys like Simpson and Kenny Cotton. Riley inside, quickly pulls up, no good. Offensive board by the Sun Devils. Riley will try it again, and he is fouled by David Gibson. The 
New Mexico has a distinct, well, I don't want to say a distinct height advantage uh, with this particular lineup, but when you put a Daniel Santiago in, they do have that advantage. Well, the, the Lobos are capable of being a short team. They can go three guards, move Clayton to four, or they can go really big. We're yet to see uh, Kenny Thomas and uh, Daniel play at the same time, but if they do that, they can get really big quick. Riley looking for his first point of the game. Second one wiggles its way through. It's an 8-5 ball game. It's the third time that the Lobos have been trapped in the corner, and each time they've been able to get it out, but it's a little bit scary. Smith is cut off, and he throws it away. The Sun Devils on the break. Here's Quincy Brewer, cross-court to Veal. Lobos hustle back on defense. Veal takes it in and feeds a Oziwa, who lays it in, and now it's a one-point game. We talked about that whenever you have a breakdown on your defense. And now Arizona State for the lead, and Veal gives the Sun Devils a one-point advantage. Gibson loses it out of bounds, and another turnover, two in a row. Well, Mike, one of the things the Sun Devils are doing, they're inviting the Lobos to throw it into that corner. You don't want to take their first option. Try and catch the ball somewhere besides the corner because you have an extra man and a half there to get a double team using the baseline and the sideline. Off the screen, Veal. Four points now for Veal, and Arizona State has an 11-8 lead. Shields doing a little one-on-one, -on -one, looking for help. There's Kenny Thomas muscling in. And it's a little too strong off the glass. Thought he was fouled. Here comes Arizona State. They could score a lot of points in a hurry. Riley? No. Tipped out of bounds. Gibson knocks it away. And why is Arizona State able to get so many offensive rebounds? Well, the Lobos are not finding their men. And because they're setting screens, they're also having a hard time finding out someone to box out. Bill Frieder's bunch up now, 11-8. We'll be back after this. Devils on a 7-0 run. They lead New Mexico 11-8. And New Mexico, four turnovers already, and that's about one a minute, and that's way too many. Uh, yes, and they happened quick, and the last three they got in about a span of, it seemed like, 25 seconds. They got them and immediately put them right in, scored, and clamped that press right back on it. And that's why the Lobos have to take care of the basketball. We saw a change there. Shorenstein, I think we'll see him throwing the ball in, and he should be a headsy player whenever he steps into the court. Kavasi Franklin in, Shorenstein in to help out. From the corner, Riley, no good. Gibson with the board, Franklin breaking free, but Gibson couldn't get him get the ball to him quick enough. Looking it around. Thomas with those two points, wants more inside. Shorenstein. And Franklin will bring it out. Charles Smith taking a break along with Sean Simpson. And now we're going to have a hold inside. And that'll be on Ron Riley. I like the fact that they moved Clayton inside for a little bit then. Make Riley play a lot of defense because he cannot slack off. He's guarding a guy like Clayton Shields. There you see he reached around with the arm for a little bear hug. Into Shorenstein. Now a junior. Been in the program three years. Out to Gibson. They'll reset it. Patient right now, loop it inside. Thomas off the window for two. Kenny Thomas with four points. Soft hands, Kenny Thomas. Brewer on the far side. Beal now three pointer. Yes. Jeremy Beal cans the three pointer. Kavasi Franklin wearing number 11, playing his first action in uh, since the Simon Fraser game because of an eye injury. New Mexico loses it inside, but it's off Arizona State. Whenever you're playing against a team, the quickness of the Sun Devils, when the ball goes into the post like it did to Clayton Shells, you cannot put it on the floor more than one time, and usually you're better off just keeping it in your hands. New Mexico barely gets it in, beating the five seconds. Clayton thought about it in the corner. Now they'll go back inside. Nice move by Shields. He looks comfortable both inside and outside this year. I'd hate to pick, have to guard him in a pickup game. Shields with six and Riley answers. 
better job that time getting the ball in and getting it across the timeline. Three-pointer. In and out, Shields. Offensive board, Kenny Thomas. He's so strong in there, and he muscles it up, not quite, but the tip up. And let's see if they count it, they do. Kenny Thomas with the putback. I'll tell you what, Kenny Thomas has already moved his game up a notch. Uh, this is the first time he's gone against big time competition. He is the hardest I've seen Kenny Thomas play all year. Not a great job of dribbling <laughs> there, but <laughs> watch him stay after it. And I'm not sure if he got the tip or the Sun Devil behind him, but uh, certainly it'll be credited to Thomas. Those are some wild pants the Lobos have on out there. So. Not quite the same as in your day. And we're kind of grateful for that. <laughs> Thomas gets the free throw. So Thomas will go out. Daniel Santiago will come in. And that was a pretty good six minutes for Kenny Thomas. And Lenny Holly checks in now. The Alamogordo native. Started his career at Texas Tech. Went to New Mexico Junior College and is now here playing for the Sun Devils. He has had what they're calling mini seizures where he blacks out, has not practiced the last couple of days, had one of those seizures yesterday, and they don't know exactly what it is. Walston just into the ballgame, goes right at Santiago. That's Steve Walston, junior 6'8 out of Queens. It's 18-15 Arizona State. Smith answers and ties it up. Charles Smith with the three-pointer and New Mexico's long string of making at least one three-pointer in consecutive games stays alive, 146 in a row. Jump shot by Brewer, no good. And the ball tipped out of bounds and New Mexico will play it in. One other substitution, Roger Farrington. A junior from Freeport, the Bahamas, is in now for Arizona State. Ever since Cavassi has stepped into the game, you notice the Lobos are attacking the press. They're not throwing the ball in, waiting to be double teamed. As soon as Cavassi gets the ball, they go right at it. 18-18 our score. Franklin walks with the ball. Did a little stutter and didn't put the ball down. That's an aggressive turnover, though. That's one you can look at. Look at Dave Bliss, the New Mexico coach, in his eighth season with the Lobos. And clearly a walk. Holly wears 22. Riley wide open. Boom. Six points now for Ron Riley, and he can heat up in a hurry. Lobos have yet to get any easy baskets off this pressure. Something Oklahoma State managed to do. We're going to have a whistle inside, and we're going to have a foul offensive on Daniel Santiago. Uh, he had a little room, and he wanted more room, and he just cleared out the Sun Devil. Kenny Thomas back up quickly, and he will replace Santiago. So Daniel's stint in here, his first road trip as a Lobo, a brief one. It'll be interesting to see how many minutes Kenny can play. I mean, he's only been playing a little over 20 minutes a game. As well as he's playing, they'd probably like to see him play 30. Good position inside. Shornstein with the push. It's a 14 foul in the first personal on Greg Shornstein. Arizona State, when they run their out-of-bounds plays, Mike, they run to get a shot. They do not try and just get the basketball in. They set screens and double screens, looking for Veal, looking for Riley or Lenny Holly to get them a three-point shot. You're right, a lot of screens. We're right close to where they're setting those screens. And three, four, five of them. Veal hits three-pointer, another one for him. Now the lead is up to six. Nine points already for Jeremy Veal. set it up. Arizona State has not been uh, particularly effect effective with their half court. <laughs> As we take a look at Spider on the jump hook, their half court defense, that has not been a strength of theirs. I don't think they like playing half court defense. If you don't like doing something, you're not going to be that good at it. Working inside, working it around. Veal, Holly wants it in the corner. The ball stripped away. Still loose. Good save by David Gibson. 
outlet to Shornstein. The ball batted out of bounds, looking for Kenny Thomas. Maybe a count late getting it in. And we will have a media timeout. We will be back in just a moment with Arizona State up by four. Five day uh, an onslaught by the Sun Devils. They trail it now 24 to 20. They'll play the ball in. Royce Alney has checked in. The sophomore from Hot Springs High School in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Inside to Clayton Shields. Spinning around, and he is fouled. Riley, number two on him. Let's see if Riley doesn't catch him right on the shooting arm. Rep. On the replay, it looks like he did get him. Well, I, I think Clayton would have, wouldn't have missed that badly unless he was fouled. So we'll give Clayton the benefit of the doubt. And that's uh, three fouls on Riley. So that is huge for Arizona State. Shields misses the first one. Quincy Brewer has checked in and will replace Riley, who will possibly sit for the rest of the half with 11.25 to go. Seven points for Shields. The lead is now three. Real back out to Brewer. Here's Holly. Walston inside. Now Kenny Thomas on him. Good fake. Veal hits. That was a big time move. Yes. 14 points already for Veal. 14 of the 26. Only got away with a walk. And New Mexico on the sideline. Well, he wanted to make sure he was behind the three-point line, but you have to be between them. You can't be on one of them. Honey Holly brings the ball down. This is a guy I think New Mexico really thought they were going to get after he transferred away from Texas Tech. And for whatever reason, he ended up at Arizona State. Near save by Shornstein. The Sun Devils get it back in. I think Shornstein may be playing uh, perhaps his best game early on. The ball is kicked off somebody's foot, and it's out of bounds. Apparently it was off Royce Olney's foot. And that sure went shooting out of there. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching Royce fight through a double moving screen, it looked like. And only will sit Gibson back in. So let's set the stage now for New Mexico with Gibson in, Charles Smith, Kenny Thomas, Greg Schornstein, and Clayton Shields. Holly sets up, and that's the shot he was practicing. You mentioned it earlier. He shot a bunch of those, set the back pick. Holly with the steal. All the way across to Brewer, Veal, and the Lobos are in some trouble. Three-pointer makes it an 11-point game. 32-21 Arizona State. Charles Smith tries to answer back. Looked like it was deflected. And the dunk, no foul inside. It shields with the dunk. And Arizona State throws it away. Little one-man press by Spider Smith that time. Just when the Lobos needed it, Clayton comes up with a big offensive rebound, and Arizona State throws the ball away. Bill Frieder sends Ozewo back in. And Walston, after the turnover, will take a seat. 32-23 our score, Arizona State. Lobos may have had a little lapse. Smith inside lays it in. After Riley went out of the game, Mike, that's whenever uh, Lobos may have said, oh, we can relax a little bit, and you just can't. There's too many weapons for the Sun Devils. Smith with nine. Farrington with it. Farrington over Kenny Thomas. Ah. Tip back to Gibson. Carl Smith will drive in. Sets up off the window. Beautiful move by Spider Smith. Last year, that's a move that you'd have seen him take all the way to the hole and he would have charged. This right. time, a little smarter. And now Frieder wants a 22nd timeout. So the 11-point lead has been cut to five. And you have to be impressed that New Mexico 
has regrouped, gathered themselves, and have stayed in this thing. You know, we talked about how they would react on the road. Uh, a little, a few turnovers. Arizona State makes some big buckets. Easy to fold at that time with this young Lobo team. Not doing that. They're staying in there fighting back. Well, our next Lobo telecast will be this Friday, live from the pit in Albuquerque, as the Lobos host their traditional cross-state rivals, the New Mexico State Aggies. Join Nelson, France, and me for all the action with Lobo Central at 7. Tip-off at 7.30 right here on Q13, New Mexico sports leader. David Gibson, a little following uh, Charles Smith in the one-man press, knocks the ball out of bounds. A couple of New Mexico players of the year, former players of the year going at it. Lenny Holly in the quad A ranks, Royce Olney in the small school double A ranks. A couple of two-time winners. Smith again, fade away one-handed, big time move again. When, what's this one-handed stuff? You know? George McGinnis all over. 32-29. Inside, blocked, and they're going to call a foul on New Mexico. I'm not sure about that one. Zolotel jumped right in. He was well underneath the basket. Watch him jump inside. Let's see here. They call it on Sean Simpson. There's the contact, the first contact. Uh, I just think the ref really didn't have much of an angle when, after Kenny got his big body over there. Zolotel hits it, and it was on Sean Simpson, his first fifth team foul. Kenny Thomas has done a great job, Mike, of not picking up any fouls so far. Uh, we've seen him get into foul trouble in some of the earlier uh, games this year. Zolotel hits them both. Senior from Torrance, California. Here's Aldi. Well done to set up Smith. Simpson with the offensive board. And this time they'll call it on him. I'm not sure if they call a foul or a travel or on the, on the baseline. I'm not sure the ref knows. He, he's Arizona <laughs> State's ball. I think he did call him on the line. Okay. No foul. Wayne Davis checks into it for the first time. Allowing Arizona State to bring one of their starters. Jesse Brewer now with the ball. Zolotel inside. Good hands by Kenny Thomas. That was a good move by Kenny Thomas. He jumped at the oh, dribbler, made him pick it up, and then he jumped back to his man and was able to get a hand in the passing lane. Timeout on the floor. 34-29. Arizona State leads it. 7.49 to go. First half. Tonight at 10 following basketball, get today's news from Q13 News, followed by the Light Show with David Letterman, only on these stations. Charles Smith, another one-man steal there. I kind of liken him this year a little bit to Marlo White defensively. I think he's got the potential to be a, a, a great stealer, if you will, on the defensive end. Very difficult shot. Forced that one up. Simpson offensive rebound, and he has it stolen away. Well, Sean, he didn't know what to do with it there, and you cannot just hold the ball very long against the quick hands of Arizona State. And reveal baseline. Used his elbow to clear out. Brewer lefty. Short. Thomas with the rebound, but it's stolen away. And the ball will be tipped out of bounds. Kenny Thomas a little frustrated. I think... Uh, New Mexico lucked out because I think Thomas hit it after it hit the glass. Could have been golden. I think so here. Watch it go up there. Couldn't tell from that angle. There you see Kenny Thomas with a little extracurricular push after the whistle was given. Dave Bliss calls a timeout with 7.01 to go. New Mexico down 34 to 29. Lobos, uh, what's hurting them right now is turnovers. They've got nine Arizona State, only three turnovers, and lots of times Arizona State, although they're the team pressing, will end up with a lot of turnovers because they don't take care of the basketball. They're rushing their offense so much, but so far they're doing a good job. 
New Mexico with just a 20-second timeout. There's Kenny Thomas coming back. And you mentioned during the break that they've kind of, New Mexico has taken him out of the offense or haven't been able to get him the ball. When they get down to their half-court offense, they need to find Kenny Thomas. He doesn't have to shoot it every time. Whenever they get the ball down low to him, it causes Arizona State a lot of problems. New Mexico only with three players in the scoring column, six for Arizona State. Shields, Smith, and Thomas have scored for the Lobos. Holly in the corner, Davis. It's a two-pointer. And New Mexico a little careless on the rebound. They need to grab it. Gibson will bring it back out. Let's see what they do now with that half-court offense. It's Cavassi Franklin who has checked back in. 6.29 and counting left in the first half. Franklin going one-on-one, -on -one, pulling up in the lane and hitting it. Well, he doesn't look like someone that's missed the last few games. Took an elbow to the eye in practice from Greg Shornstein. Had blood around his retina, so he hasn't been playing. We'll have a blocking foul inside on Kenny Thomas. It's just the sixth foul, though. With all the pressing, the screening, hadn't been a lot of fouls. No, there haven't, there haven't. Four, comes Thomas, and Thomas. that's a big body to run into. Oh, they're going to give they're going to give him two shots on that. Well, he did throw it up afterwards, but that was clearly not in the act of shooting. And maybe it won't hurt New Mexico. Okay, Davis, with all the great shooters, uh, he doesn't have a. You know, so far I'm not impressed with his stroke. He also has his left thumb bandaged up. Uh, he missed a wide open shot earlier. I, the Lobos might have let him shoot a little bit as opposed to some of these other great shooters. Those were his first free throws this season. Over to Franklin now. Going inside. Pushed it up. No good. Thomas tries to keep it alive. And Shields tracks it down. And we're going to have a push on Kenny Thomas. Pushing off the Z-Wall inside. Kenny with a little smile. And we're going to see Daniel Santiago come in now, maybe for the rest of the half. Thomas with two fouls. I didn't see the little smile you said was on The smirk might have been a little bit better. Okay. Maybe like I got caught. 35-31 our score. Now see, I'm surprised that uh, they're not shooting a free throw here. Kenny Thomas did not have the basketball when he pushed off. Well, they'll get this squared away at halftime. <laughs> well, I'm free to consult with them, you know. <laughs> I don't know if you're free, though. You may charge. <laughs> they find access to point guard, which he is. Jump shot is too strong. Shields, and we're going to have a foul. It'll be on Zalatel. And that will be team foul number six on Arizona State. Well, Zolotel is another player, Mike, that if he wants to shoot the three or drive and try and make a fancy shot, I'd let him do it, you know, until he proves he can beat you because you can sag off and provide a little help for Beal and uh, Riley, Holly, some of those guys. Warrington comes in, and you see Zolotel taking a seat right now. He has two personal fouls. Your thoughts on Kavasi Franklin? running the point right now. You like what he's been doing? I like a very aggressive guard against the front. And that's one of those unforced turnovers. Not sure who will get credit for it. Franklin threw it awfully hard. Shortstein couldn't hang on to it. Uh, most coaches say whenever you're 20, 25 feet apart, you can't throw a basketball too hard. 12 turnovers now against New Mexico, and Holly will take a seat. The Lobos have cut the lead to four or five. They just have not been able to catch back up a turnover like we've seen. Davis. Short. That's short. You're right. If he wants to take that shot, let him have it all night. Shields had his first shot of the game blocked. Got it back and put it in. It's been steady tonight. Steady all year. Einstein needs some help. Gets it to Gibson. Shot clock at 13. Needs somebody to work down to seven. Almost having trouble hanging on to the ball. It's almost like it's wet. You have to throw it up. And the time ran off the clock. And finally, we're finally going to get a whistle. 
The ball never did hit the rim. The play clock, shot clock went down to zero. And but you couldn't hear the buzzer. I don't think the buzzer went off to here. Well, Bill Frieder is all over his own people down there. Well, that time, Spider Smith was on the bench, and that's usually your go-to right. person as the clock winds down. The Lobos just didn't uh, have anyone to make anything positive happen. Clayton did a good job of getting a shot. Looked like he might have been fouled when he took that one out. I'm not sure why Frieder was on the uh, crew on the bench there because it, it should be the uh, the timing mechanism up on the clock to make that buzz. And we're going to have a blocking foul on Kamasi Franklin. And now Arizona State will shoot the one and one. Let's get another look at this one right here. Look and see if. Well, what happened? Kabasi was set. Whenever you're not hit square in the chest, lots of times you don't get the call, but he was definitely set. Frieder's not done chewing on people over there. This free throw. Hasn't been much scoring the last few minutes by either team. Lobos offensively uh, but, uh, in disarray. Franklin off the pick, the backside pick, no. All the way down to Brewer. They'll bring it back out and Holly will set it up, no, go to Veal. Looking inside, Sparrington. And we'll have a whistle and a foul on Shornstein. The crowd here wants goaltending and they won't get it. Foul number 45, Greg Schoenstein, his second, 19 foul. Clayton Shino, the Lobos. Pretty good defense that time, and uh, uh, Daniel's going to have to learn to let that one go. It's one thing called Goldman. Also, if that ball gets past him, his man's right there to put it back in the hoop. And that shot had no chance of going in anyway, so why risk a goaltending call? Warrington hits the first one, and only a 50% free throw shooter. And Arizona State has maintained this lead with their big gun on the bench. You saw him there, Ron Riley, with three fouls. He's been on the bench since uh, just under 12 minutes to go in the half. And they've done it with defense. Uh, since Kenny Thomas checked out of the game, they've been able to do a better job of containing the logo. And Barrington gets the putback after the missed free throw. He has three points, and New Mexico throws it away. Holly for three. It's now a 10-point game. Well, the Lobos had three possessions. Sloppy again. Blocking foul, and they're going to count it. Well, this is where the Lobos have to pull it together, and they're not doing it right now. Whenever you have Greg Shorenstein on the bench, they, the person throwing the ball in, Clayton Shields right now, we saw Sean Simpson earlier, they're not doing a good job of keeping their head together. So look at that last sequence, the three-pointer, bad throw, and probably a good call with David Gibson sliding in. It all started when the Lobos didn't box out on the free throw, Mike. Brewer completes the three-point play. We'll have a couple of substitutions in for New Mexico and a timeout. Our score, Arizona State 44, New Mexico 31, back after this. Classic Christmas TV at 7. It's Charles Schultz classic animated show, A Charlie Brown Christmas, followed by Mr. Willoughby's Christmas Tree at 7.30. Great family holiday entertainment tomorrow night at 7 here on Q13, TV10, and C6. Right now, Arizona State threatening to blow this one open, a 9-0 run. And that 9-0 run took about 30 seconds. 44-31 our score. You saw the turnovers and the points off turnover. Inside, will they give it to Shornstein? And I believe they will, yes. Well, that's one of the few times as of late the Lobos have taken advantage of the press. When you break the pressure, you need to make the defense pay for it. Lenny Holly's first personal foul. Seventh team foul. 
Craig has really had uh, troubles at the free throw line. A couple of air balls this season, which is not like him at all. Lead back down to 10. Warrington inside, looking for help. And puts it up and in over Kenny Thomas. Well done. We'll have a foul on the press, Barrington. The Lobos have some small guards, and, and when it's to a David Gibson and you put a Lenny Holly on him, who's 6'5", and a, and a Barrington who's 6'7", he's going to have some problems. Well, one of the things that David is doing, though, Mike, is dribbling it, picking it up. And then that's when the double team can get all over you. So long as you have your dribble alive, they have to respect that. And with David's quickness, he'll be able to make something happen. Should you get the ball and go? Yes. And we've seen Kavasi do that. You get, you don't turn and wait for the double team to move in on you. You can do that if you're, you know, seven foot. Luke Longley, he can do that. Because he has Michael Jordan on his team. Yeah. Gibson misses the free throw first end of the one and one. Brewer driving inside, right-handed, good. Again, Lobo sloppy with their passes. Even the easy ones they're having trouble with. Down to Smith. Watch the alley-oop. The dunk by Thomas. Good look from Charles Smith. Thomas now with nine points. In the corner. Beal. Walston with it. Short. Thomas with the rebound and a quick outlet. Well done to Smith, who will take it the distance. Difficult shot, and Charles Smith scores. 15 points for the junior. Well, he had the numbers. A one on three, Brad. <laughs> Ollie wanted it earlier, didn't get it. Only on Beal. Go into Walston again, tries it against Kenny Thomas. No good. I'm not sure why they continue to go into him. Gibson trying to avoid the double team. Now the advantage, New Mexico. Pass on the wrong side of Thomas. Now they'll go to Shornstein. 124 left first half. 10 point game, 8 point game. Well, Lenny Holly, he can't guard uh, Spider. Uh, Brewer's been doing a good job on That's what I was trying to think. Brewer's been doing a good job on this fight. Good hands by Gibson. Goes back to Arizona State. Batted away again, and they'll say it's off home. Royce needs to be careful. Doesn't want to pick up a technical. Daniel Santiago comes in for Thomas. They'll try to preserve Kenny Thomas. Uh, he has two personal fouls. I think that's why Arizona State's been throwing the ball inside uh, uh, Walston in the mic because they wanted to get Kenny in trouble. Lamar Richardson comes into the lineup for the first time for Arizona State. He's from Louisiana, 6'8", 235, a junior. Real driving in. Good defense by Royce. Shot clock down to five. Are they aware of it? There's Richardson. Puts it up. In and out. The follow is good. Quincy Brewer with a nice follow. Dangerous pass. Been saying that all night. They're continuing to go after Gibson and the rest of the Lobo guards. In the corner to Shornstein. Alley oop to Santiago, and there's no reason to do that. You know, even if it went into Santiago there, what was he going to be able to do with it about 12 feet from the basket? Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a rhetorical question. You don't need to respond. Thank you for bailing me out of that. But that's exactly right, Mike. I mean, uh, you have to know who you're passing it to and uh, what the coach wants that person to do with the ball. Like the shields in, Royce only out. 23 seconds to go in the first half. Lobo should go for one shot here. Not an easy task. However, a team playing defense like Arizona State. Down by 10. They could cut it to 8. Not bad. They'll go for the double team. 10 seconds left. Gibson lays it up. Too strong. Gets it back. No. Tries it again. Puts it up. Too strong. But there's Clayton Shields to jam it. And we'll end the half on that one. Wow! Clayton Shields with the jam with about one second left in the half. And New Mexico down by eight at the break. 
could have been worse. Arizona State leads it 50-42. to 42. Stay with us for our halftime report. We'll have a news update. We'll have a chance to uh, possibly talk to Stoney Case, the former Lobo quarterback. And, of course, we'll go over the first half of play. Arizona State leads it 50-42. Bull is celebrating one year of success. Teen court. Ron Riley has checked back in. He only has six points. He has three fouls. Let's set the New Mexico lineup for you. It's Charles Smith, Greg Shornstein. Farrington takes it way outside. It's a two pointer. Kenny Thomas also in the lineup for New Mexico, along with David Gibson and Clayton Shields. Back to a 10 point lead. Stolen away. Riley drives in. And it's stolen back by Shorty. Break for the New Mexico Lobos. Kenny Thomas had pretty good position inside. Working against the freshman Ozewo. And we'll have a whistle and a hold out front. Here are the lineups in the second half now. Shields, Simpson, Thomas, Smith, and Gibson. And Shornstein should be in there instead of Simpson. And there's a look at the... Arizona State lineup. We'll run that down a little bit more specifically for you in just a moment. Brewer is doing an excellent job harassing Spider Smith. Shields drives the lane. Contact. No whistle. Clayton wanted a call. Here comes Jeremy Veal. Keep working. Come on, Dean. It's a slow down for the first time in this ballgame. I think they're tired, kind of like you and me, just a little worn out. The deal is fouled by Gibson. First team foul of the second half. Beal will go to the line on two. David Gibson, his second, first team foul. There you see David reaching in there that time. Whenever the offensive player is past you and you reach in, even if you catch all ball, usually the referee's not going to have a good angle and he's going to call the foul. The lead is 11. Veal is just a sophomore. He's 6'3", 182 from San Dimas, California. An 87.5 free throw shooter, a percentage of the line, and missed his second one. Smith really struggling there to get control of it. Lobos need to move the basketball a little quicker, Mike. Get a little quicker. Locked. Smith open. And hits it. Charles Smith, the easy. Those are tough shots. I say easy. It was wide open, but uh, sometimes you get tight when you, you're that wide open. Yeah, I saw you miss a wide open <laughs> shot. One time, though. It was yeah, only just one. one time. 53-44, our score. Charles Smith, 19 points. Way outside, Riley. And I think uh, forced that up a little bit, wants to get into the flow. He has just those six points. Smith again. He's a better three-point shooter this year. He seems a lot more comfortable, although he missed that one. Beal dribbled that one, uh, and it didn't go anywhere. just rolled away, and New Mexico will play it in on the baseline. Hey, Kenny, uh, Charles Smith was getting ready to take another one-on-three <laughs> all the way to the, the bucket. His confidence level, he's got it up tonight. Very high. Struggled against Texas Pan American, had 15 points, but had an off night shooting. But uh, he has had great confidence this season. They've yet to get the ball to Kenny Thomas here in the second half. Now they try, wide open, and he lays it in. Good call, Mike. Try to help when I can. That's a good job of whenever they're fronting Kenny on one side, quickly reverse it to the middle of the floor and dump it down into him. There is less help on that uh, when you do that. If you do it quick. Veal hangs in the air, batted away momentarily by Smith. Farrington, too easy there. Farrington with nine points, averaging 11 points a game coming off the bench. the timeline with Shields. 55-46 hour score. Arizona State leads it by nine. Gibson waves Smith through. Dangerous pass. Schornstein inside. Will he get the roll? And he does. Great Schornstein hits. He now has five points. 
seems like the Sun Devil pressure has, has waned a little bit here to start the second half. I think you're right. I don't know if the Lobos are just doing a better job or if uh, they've gotten a little tired. Shields with the hold for New Mexico. You know, and Clayton Shields has, has just played so extremely well the first four ball games of the season. It's, he's almost been unsung. He's been so steady that you haven't really noticed it. And it's you know, amazing because he comes up with uh, tremendous plays, you know, the dunks, the right. tip dunks and stuff like that. You'd think that he'd get more credit, but I do think it's just because he's steady and you expect him to do that. Marty Cotwright has checked in, replacing Kenny Thomas. So it's not Santiago that gets the call. Here is Marty Cotwright, and it's a five-second violation. They couldn't get it in. Turnover. Well, the Lobos, they're doing exactly what they needed to do. They need to cut into this lead quickly because whenever they were down 12, if Arizona State had a run at that point, they could get down close to 20. They've already got it cut it down to seven. They need to move it a little more. And Ossie Franklin finds himself in trouble, and Shields dribbles it off his foot. It's a three-on-three. Three. And we'll have a blocking foul on New Mexico. Team foul number two. And that's exactly what Clayton did. He dribbled it off his right foot. Brewer brought it down to the open man. And, and I'm not sure who they gave the foul on. They did give it to Kavasi Franklin, his third. And there's a timeout on the floor. We'll be back after this. Lobo Basketball is brought to you by your New Mexico Dodge dealers. Over the past three years, Dodge has offered a choice of more new nameplates than anybody else. Here are three more new choices that make it easier for you to drive an incredibly sophisticated 96 Dodge Stratus. Welcome back to the University Activity Center in Tempe, Arizona, home of the Arizona State Sun Devils. They lead New Mexico 55-48. Just under 16 minutes to go in the second half. Lobo's in a 2-3 zone. They did that on the out-of-bounds play because Arizona State was getting a good shot every time on a set play. Beal sets up, three-pointer, too strong, tipped over, and Shields gains control of it. The zone worked that time. That'll be something we, we won't see except for uh, inbounds plays, you think? No, I don't think so because Beal, I mean, he got a great shot. Finally to Smith, loves driving in the lane. He hangs there, Shields, and the putback. Thank you very much. The Lobos have cut it to five, Mike. This is where they need to go ahead and get over the hump. They did this late in the first half and never got over the hump. Near steal, Beal brings it back. Shields now with 11 points. And the pace is much more to the Lobos' liking right now. Zalatel in the corner waiting for something. Nothing happens. Here's Riley. Gibson going good defense on him there. Shields with the defensive board. Dangerous pass. Watch out. And they're going to call a blocking foul, and that's a good call. Veal leaned in and just got Smith, and I think it's a break for New Mexico in that Charles is a little bit out of control. The one thing uh, the refs have been is consistent on calling blocks and charges. They're not calling charges. I mean, if they're close, they're calling them blocks both ways. Timeout, Arizona State. The Sun Devils want to talk things over. 14.35 to go in the second half of play. Arizona State leads it 55-50. to 50. Smith at the free throw line to shoot two, trying to cut into this Arizona State lead. Smith hits the first one. Leading foul shooter for New Mexico at 71%. One thing this team is missing is right now is a free throw shooter that you can really count on down the stretch. In the past, there's been a Greg Brown or a Marlo White or a Steve Logan. Right now, New Mexico maybe uh, would love to find somebody like that. That's right, and uh, somewhere in the 80s, maybe even the low 90s. Lead has been cut to three. Lenny Holly has checked back in. Zalatiel with it. For the Sun Devils role players. Off the screen. Riley. He's blocked and fouled by Smith. 
And I know Riley is very frustrated about the way this uh, evening has gone for him. The Lobos have done a good job of talking and whenever they have to switch, make sure that he's covered. And that's why a guy like Bill, although a very good player, is getting more points than normal. Rebounding totals tonight. New Mexico with 29. Arizona State with only 10. Not a good looking free throw there. And this is a, a player who's averaging 23 points per game. Had three games in the NCAA tournament. Oh, Zolotil with the offensive rebound. Put back, no. Arizona State crashing the boards. They'll get it back. Riley throws it up again. Tip no good. And finally, they're going to say Shields committed a foul. You talk about reaching into a hat and pulling out a number there. Uh, the refs were letting them play, letting them play. Nothing changed. And then all of a sudden, they just call a foul here. Here you see a lot of bodies around here. Uh, not a lot of contact any more than normal. Here Still you see no whistle. Uh -uh. Holly sets up. Three-pointer a little bit short. And Shields gets the rebound. It was a non-shooting foul. It's the fifth team foul on New Mexico. Shields with two, and New Mexico wants a 20-second timeout. Let's give Dave Wiss some credit uh, for the defense on Riley tonight because it's obviously well-planned out, well-thought out. Well, Dave's moving his feet well tonight and uh, <laughs> getting his hands up right in the face. He did. He did do a good job. He realized that he was the key to their team and stuff. And also, I like what he did at halftime. They were down 12 on the road and right before halftime. It looked like the Lobos, it was getting bad. I guess they'd cut it to eight. Right, eight at halftime, but it was, they had a chance to be up there to 12, 14 points. Let me tell everybody about this, Nelson. Tomorrow night, a special Q13 and CBS movie presentation. Join us here as Kelly Martin and Jill Clayberg star in The Face on the Milk Carton, the story of a girl who discovers she was kidnapped from her birth parents 13 years earlier. It's tomorrow night at 8 on Q13, TV10, and Z6. Back in Tempe, the Lobos trail it by three. Shornstein in some trouble, brings it back out. Smith open, one-hander is short, and if he would have taken one more dribble, he could have got free, but Shortstop with the putback. And New Mexico, I believe, will get a warning for tapping the ball after the made basket. Of all the no calls tonight, I like the referee saying, now that's a call I have to step up and make, or this game's going to get out of control. We've got to stop it here. There's Smith. And Shornstein with the lucky bounce. The putback. And you were about to see Shields push the ball out of bounds. Lobos trail it now by only one. They were down by as many as 13 points in the first half. And with 13 minutes to go, they're right in it. And have a hold on Gibson trying to help out there on Riley. That'll be the 16 foul on the Lobos. And I'm going to say it's not a shooting foul, but I've, I've been wrong quite often. <laughs> Arizona State with only two team fouls here in the second half. Riley will try to get on track in and out. Can New Mexico save it? They do. I tell you, Arizona State, uh, you can see a little fear in their eyes right now, Mike. Gibson drives, and we're going to have a blocking foul again on Arizona State of Zewa. And I was blocked out, didn't have a good look at it, but David Gibson went strong to the hole. Well, what happened? Uh, went right at them. They're not going to call charges unless it's just an automatic. Here you see David go over there. What happened? Once again, he didn't hit him square in the chest, and they're not going to give you the call tonight. I know Lobo fans uh, don't like this crew, but I do like the way they've made that call. Uh, and if you're moving at all, you're leaning in, you should not be charged with a charging foul. I mean, the game's on the line, right? It's in the home. pit, and you're at home, right? Hey, <laughs> what? This game's pretty close. And UNM had a chance to take its first lead since 8-7. Instead, will stay tied at 55. And you're right about the way Arizona State looks right now. Uh, they, they look like uh, they're bouncing against the ropes, taking some, some shots to the head in the ninth round. You know, the shots they were taking relaxed and stuff. Whenever they're open, they're uh, hesitating a little bit. They're saying, gosh, I've missed a couple lately. Their 
offense is really generated off their defense. Barrington with it, way outside. Thomas on him. A go inside now. And we're going to have another hold on Shorenstein. And already we're in the one and one. Ozewo will go on to shoot the one and one at the line. Number this is the seventh foul, Mike. Where you see have a, a hand right there. Whenever you put the hand on him, lots of times that's what they're looking at. I mean, he really didn't push him, but they said, I right, get that hand off the back. That's too easy to call. Shields comes in for Shornstein. Shorty with the three fouls now. Seven fouls on New Mexico, only three on Arizona State. Normally you'd think the team that's pressing would have more fouls. Normally. Yeah, unless they're playing at home. So we stay tied. Another rebound for Kenny Thomas. Well, Smith back out to Shields. The Lobos looking for the lead. Late has it blocked, and we're going to have a whistle on Farrington. Shields will shoot two. Uh, <laughs> it was the yaw because he thought it was pretty good defense. Uh, let's see, let's see if there's any contact there. Well, you know what happened? It looks like you may have gotten all ball, but whenever you block it and you follow through, refs will make that call sometimes. It does look like it's pretty clean there. He does hit his left hand a little bit, but it was after the fact. 12.06 to go in regulation. And New Mexico has its first lead since 8-7. 56-55, the crowd here quiet. Where do you get stats like that? First lead since they say, well, that's good. Paul Opperman helps me out right now. Made the trip down from Albuquerque to give us a hand. And the Lobo lead is two, 13 points for Clayton Shields. Royce hustling. Beal drives in. Barrington with nice hands, and he puts it up. It was not an easy pass to handle, and he did, and we're tied at 57. And what that does is give it gives the Sun Devils a chance to set up their press. Bad pass. You know what? I, you know, Clayton, at least tonight, uh, he's not handling the ball well. Probably try and get it in the hands of Shorney when he's in the game, or get it in your guards' hands. You've got uh, three guards out there, Cavassi, Royce, and David. Well, why was, you know, Shields throwing it half court to uh, Cavassi Franklin? I mean, it should have been the other way around, in theory. Near travel, Kenny Thomas <laughs> smiles about that one. Beal, no, crashing the board, Arizona State, and they regain the lead, that's Riley. Now, Kenny, whenever he goes for a block like that, he's going to learn the hard way. If he doesn't get it, his man's going to get the offensive rebound. And they're going to say Alney was on the line. Turnover again, charged to New Mexico. Well, the Lobos are back to throwing it in the corner, Mike. They need to stop doing that. And that's what Dave Bliss will talk about in this timeout. 59-57, Arizona State with the lead. 11 minutes to go in regulation. The lead briefly, Arizona or New Mexico has slipped behind Arizona State now, 59-57, and a couple of quick turnovers, the reason why ASU has regained the lead. But overall in the second half, the Lobos have been protecting the ball pretty well. We're nine minutes into the second half, the Lobos only three turnovers. They averaged almost almost one a minute in the first half. But for the game, New Mexico has 21 turnovers, and uh, last year the, the most turnovers the Lobos had was 18. So not taking very good care of the ball overall in this ball game. We're ready to go. Arizona State will play it in after Royce only touched the sideline. Riley fakes over the top of Smith, and he's starting to get on track. Four-point lead. Into the corner and back out. That was aggressive. That's the first time in a while the Lobos have been aggressive attacking the press. Pass to Kenny Thomas. And they'll call him for three seconds. Not really Kenny Thomas' fault there. Keep working out there. Keep working. Nope, but another turnover. Right. a little late. 
late there against Riley. And there'll be a foul on him. And they're going, oh, they're going to count it. And that had no chance to go in. No chance whatsoever to go in. They will call the foul on Charles Smith and the goaltending on Kenny Thomas. That was on number five, Charles Smith. He's third. I tell you, that's a, you know, you learn lessons the hard way, but uh, that. <laughs> I, you know, I don't know if you have to make that call if you're an official. I mean, he clearly went after it, and I think it was above the rim, but it had no chance to go in. Riley misses the free throw, and... Kenny Thomas pounded uh, inside, and Arizona State gets it back. 63-57, our score. Arizona State with the lead. Another get check for the Lobos. And they'll call the foul on Alden. Tell you what, these refs kind of get their momentum going, and all of a sudden the P loosens up and all their whistles, and they start you know, blowing. He'll get it going. Let's make some calls here. It's kind of the way the Sun Devils have played tonight. Playing in spurts, and now Veal will go to the line, and that's the 19th foul on New Mexico. Only 14 fouls on Arizona State. Franklin returns to the Lobos line. Franklin in, and the out. The Lobos have a short lineup in here. They ought to be more effective against the press, but they have to rebound. Everyone has to go to the glass. Arizona State's hurt them. Here. Stein will take it out of there. And Arizona State really has, has not done overall a good job rebounding, but lately they've been keeping those balls alive, tipping them up, and getting some putbacks. Out front to Cavassi Franklin. On the baseline, Smith lays it in. Carl Smith leading scorer in the game with 23. It's a four-point game. Barrington. It's Kenny Thomas, and he hits. Pretty good offensive player, number 34. And we'll get a whistle in the hole. The whistle a little bit late, but a good call. Quincy Brewer with the personal. I'll tell you, when Cavassi catches it, he turns and goes. You hear Kenny, Kenny in a little foul trouble. One arm up, though. And that's a shot, though. He's jumping away from the bucket. If he hits that one, you can live with it. Smith on the far side, triple team there, and we'll have a block. And that will be the 16th foul in Arizona State. The next goal play it in under their own basket. Marty cut right in, giving Kenny Thomas another blow. And Marty is, uh, has looked better this year. I think he definitely improved during the offseason. Well, Marty, whenever he gets minutes like this, he has to make the best of it. Uh, because uh, uh, Kenny Thomas is really coming along, playing well, especially when you consider that he missed you know, the, uh, all those practice days. Cotwright, senior from Los Angeles, business major, seven rebounds and seven points against Mercer, both personal best. Posting up inside against Richardson. Lamar Richardson checked back in now when Thomas went out. Lots of contact there. He needs to be careful, don't want to pick up a silly foul. Under nine minutes to go. Using the clock, down to 17. Shornstein fakes, drives in, and they'll bring it back out. Down to 10 seconds on the shot clock. Shields three-pointer. And caught right with the offensive rebound, nicely done. Fresh shot clock for New Mexico. Three-pointer for Shornstein. And another offensive board. Try it again. Three the charm, no. Didn't look like Spider was set on that shot. Other chances. And they'll stop play again. This crew has been inconsistent tonight. Uh, you know, not a lot of contact there. See what we have here. Well, one of the things that they're... Uh, Shorty did put his hand on him once again. Maybe that's lo they're looking for the hand. Maybe that's their main call. Maybe it is. Farrington to the line. Roger Farrington from Freeport, the Bahamas. 6'7", 210. He's a junior. One of the things keeping the Lobos uh, 
tied his free throws. I mean, they missed the front end of two one and ones, talking about Arizona State. Now we see Harrington struggling again. Will they get the rebound? Brewer. And Riley keeps it alive. Those free throws are really hurting New Mexico as far as the defensive rebounds. Warrington against Shortstein, and that's a silly goal, Ken call. A silly play by Marty Cotwright. Now the, now the lead is eight, Nelson. You know, Mike, the Lobos, whenever they look back on this tape, if they're not successful in this game, they're going to really kick themselves because they've made a lot of mistakes mentally that they just normally, a Division I team, shouldn't make. Well, the Lobos only have two players who have played more than two years of Division ball. Charles Smith and Greg Shortson. Everyone else is either new or only in the program for a little over a year. And the whistle stops play inside. Richardson holding Cotwright. And that will be team foul number seven. And Cotwright will get a chance to see what he can do at the free throw line. So far this season, Marty Cotwright one and two at the strike. There's Bill Frieder. Came over to Arizona State from Michigan. Had a chance to take the Michigan Wolverines to a national championship, but after he took the ASU job, they said so long, and he didn't coach it during the tournament. And the Wolverines went on to win the whole thing. He's strong. On the floor, Riley, and we're going to call a jump ball, and that's our first jump ball, and possession arrow to New Mexico. Frieder throws his towel into the stands. We'll have another look at it. And I think the officials made the call because they didn't want anyone to get hurt more than anything. 7.36 and counting. 67-59 Arizona State. Lobo's first real test of the season. Shortstein tries to go one on one and walks. 24 turnovers charged to New Mexico. Lobo's down eight here, and it's not been because of uh, uh, their uh, press. They're just not scoring on offense, right. not boxing out on free throws. Warrington will take a two pointer. Riley with the board, no. And it comes out to David Gibson, who gets a rebound from his guard slot. Shields loses it again. Having trouble dribbling tonight. Here's Riley. Good. Now the lead is 10 again. Riley suddenly has 14, and the Lobos turn it over. Hey, when it rains, it pours, and uh, the Lobos, this is just another gut check. They're going to have to pull themselves together, not let this one get out of control. Dave, uh, Dave Bliss wants a timeout now, down by 10. Arizona State will have the ball when we return. Oh, glad you could be with us tonight on Q13 from Tempe, Arizona. And there's uh, one of those 24 turnovers the Lobos have. Riley put it in, and the Lobos immediately turned it back over. They have to pick up the defense now. Thomas against Farrington. Blocked. And could not be saved. And a good defensive effort by Kenny Thomas. Only mismatch, perhaps, against uh, Olney, but Kenny Thomas came over to help out and got a piece of that one. Two blocks in a row for my bus driver. Schoenstein thought about it. Arizona State doing a good job on Kenny Thomas inside. Almost won him. He's double teamed. He'll go up strong and nobody can stop him. He's a big body. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. 69-61, six minutes to go. Lenny Halley, not much of a factor in this game. We talked about his health problems earlier. A good reverse layup, and Farrington scores over Thomas. Back to double-digit lead. Arizona 
State looking for the double team. Near turnover again. They'll bring it back out. New Mexico hasn't had that three-point shot working tonight. Right now, this is not a particularly good three-point shooting team. Although Thomas will try and makes me eat my words. Thank you very much, Clayton. Clayton Shields with 17 points. They, they gave him the three on that, did yes, they Yes, they not? did. All right, make that 18 points for Shields. That's his second straight double-double. He now has three in his career. A little fake. And Thomas came over to block it. And there's Shields with the rebound. Lobos trying to claw back in. Claw is a perfect word there, too. Alney for three. Yes! Royce Olney hits it. 71-67, it's a four-point game. Don't think about turning this game off. Get your hand off that remote. And Arizona State wants a timeout with 4.38 to go. Two three-pointers by New Mexico has made it interesting. Be back after this. It's Royce Olney's turn, and New Mexico is down by just four. Clayton Shields, career high, Mike, 12 Caroms tonight. Caroms. Is that a billiard term? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> 12 rebounds for Shields. Well, the bowl games are coming up, and that's one of the things that we cover on Q13 and TV10's info line. Those are numbers to call in our category 3,500 for all of the national scores and results. That's a free service of Q13 and TV10. Seventy-one sixty-seven. Arizona State leads, and we're going to have a blocking foul inside, and that'll go against Arizona State. They'll call it on Joe Zalte. Uh, Zalte. <laughs> we haven't called his name enough tonight, Doc Allen. You know, he was one of the guys in the first half that came in shooting it and stuff and, and actually took Arizona State out of the game, and since then he hadn't been in. Well, he has three fouls. It's the 18th foul, and now Royce only will have a chance at the free throw line with the one and one. Lobos are 10 of 14 at the line. 11 of 15. Arizona State, you mentioned their poor free throw shooting, Nelson. Only 7 of 19 in this ballgame. Which is poor. Which, yes, it is. Bench scoring only has helped to even it up a little. ASU with 26, New Mexico with 14, and New Mexico trails by just two. Brewer on the baseline, on the baseline, literally. You know what? I've never seen so many on the baseline, on the sideline calls. You're right. We have a record tonight. Something to be proud of a broadcast that has a record like that. Four, 16 and counting. New Mexico breaks the press to Kenny Thomas. Only open, three-pointer, good! And New Mexico takes the lead! Royce Olney hits it, and the Lobos are now four of ten from three-point land. I'll tell you what, this, this young Lobo team will not say die. Zolotil has it blocked! That's almost three blocks in a row now by New Mexico. What is that? Almost, Almost. Three uh, it's been <laughs> three blocks recently. Gibson drives in and lays it in. And the Lobos lead it by three. What a turnaround here in the second half. And Bill Frieder with the 22nd timeout. We'll keep it here. Lobos very excited, and I love the move by David Gibson. I tell you, uh, this has happening with Clayton Shields on the bench right now, you know. Well, if you're like a lot of Americans, you may sometimes feel there's nothing you can do about our crime problem. Well, we can. All of us can. And all you need to do to help is watch Q13 Saturdays at 4 to get information you can use to fight crime in your area. Join host Tim Reed for Save Our Streets every Saturday at 4 on Q13, TV10, and Z6. And Bob Holtzman, uh, a reporter at Q13, uh, very involved in that, and you can watch for his reports on these stations. New Mexico on a 17-8 run. There's Ron Riley with it around. Around the horn right now. Veal has been silent. Riley free. 
throws it up and it goes through. The prayer is answered in Tempe. The lead is now one New Mexico. Only his double team looking for help. And no whistle. Gets rid of it finally to Gibson. Breeder again throws his towel. Inside the paint, hanging, and the stuff by Kenny Thomas. The parade All-American from Albuquerque High jams it down. College basketball at its best, Mike Powers. 76-73. Beal in the lane. Nice move by Jeremy Beal. Beal now with 20 after that big first half. Gibson breaks the pressure and he goes down. The foul on Farrington and Gibson will go shoot one and one. This is the last time New Mexico's gonna have to shoot one and one, Mike. From now on, if it's a regular foul, it'll be two shots. And David Gibson, the sophomore from Sandia High School, very slow getting up, but I think it was more from fatigue uh, than anything else. You go for the steal, you talk about oh. throwing it up. Gibson gets it. And David Gibson has been very good in the last five minutes at the free throw line. And here's the previous dunk by Kenny Thomas <laughs> and the exclamation point. Gibson gets them both. David Gibson playing very good basketball in the second half, five points for him. Three point New Mexico lead as we approach the two minute mark. Beal, pull up jumper, short. Off Kenny Thomas, no it is saved. And hey, on the line again. <laughs> 2 one to go, Arizona State will play it in with a fresh shot clock. Sun Devils trailing it by three. Glad you could be with us tonight. The opening game of our Q13 a season of telecast for you. Veal to tie. <laughs> Off the screens from the inbounds. Less than two minutes to go. Steal. And the whistle. I'll tell you what, looks like the Arizona State player had lost the basketball. I don't know if we're going to get a look at that again, but when he's driving in there, it looks like he's lost control of it. I'm not sure what the foul was. David Gibson tried to throw it off of the leg. You see him there, he was going to try and throw it off the leg. It didn't work. Now watch Harrington go in there. He loses the basketball. Well, the foul on Gibson didn't argue it. David Gibson has four now. And one thing about this New Mexico team, uh, it's the deepest one I believe Dave Bliss has had. And they can play a game like this up and down the floor because they can bring a number of players off the bench. First one, in and out. The woes continue at the line for Arizona State. Farrington now, five points in the first half, 12 in the second half, 17 for the game. Lobos have to box out on this free throw. Out of bounds to New Mexico. Riley knocked it out of Kenny Thomas's hands. And now the Sun Devils will press. Kenny needs to learn to use that rear end that he uses to get open to box out on free throw. To Alden. And again, they allow the double team. And we're going to have a whistle. So Alden will go to the line and get two. Royce Alden goes to the free throw line for two. I think that was a triple team. You know? <laughs> Jeremy, mentioned Kenny Thomas. A big day for him on Monday two finals and he will go back to court in his battle with the NCAA to maintain his eligibility. That battle continues. You know Mike you were talking about the Lobos not having someone so far this season to step up and make free throws. Right now they're having a lot of guys step right. up. Lobo lead is two. Again Royce Olney coming up big. 140 and counting, left in regulation. Charles Smith on Veal, looking for Farrington, now looking for help. Driving around, 
Zewo brings it back out. Way off cross court. Here's Olney. And let's see what Royce does. To Smith in the corner, and they'll wisely bring it back out. 1.15 to go. Very smart play. And Brewer with the foul. And now Olney will go to the line for two. And he didn't need to do that at this point. He sure didn't. I mean, plenty up. Uh, is boy, your voice okay? <laughs> didn't need to do that. And also, Royce is in a groove right now. Could have easily made him pass it around. I mean, Shorty hadn't shot a free throw in a while. Make him step up there. Maybe Kenny Thomas. You know, some guys that hadn't shot any lately. Now five for five at the line. Royce only. 11 points. 12. Four-point game, a minute eight to go. Mazzillo looks for help. There's Riley with it against Gibson. He'll go up one-handed, no good. Who comes out of there with it? Thomas is struggling. They'll call a jump ball, and it's Arizona State with the possession arrow. Well, that was another one of those jump balls they just called, you know, I think, I don't know Pretty if they quick, want to call seems. a foul, yeah, yeah, or something, but... 22 seconds on the shot clock now. 54 seconds left in the game. Riley open, loses it, and Smith has it. And Hit now it. Arizona State's going to have to foul. Hit it in Royce's hands. He's hot at the free throw line. Near travel to Gibson. And a whistle out front, and David Gibson will go to the line and shoot two. Now, David immediately looked up at the clock. What do you think about that in a situation like that? Some coaches might say, don't look at the clock. You don't need to know the situation. Concentrate on your free throws. I, I don't. Let's, we'll come back to that. Okay, all right. We'll take a break. 39 seconds to go. This is such an important part. We're going to keep it right here. We want to hear your answer Okay, on this. I'll tell you. I, I think it's a good thing to look up the clock. I mean, that's not... Whenever you concentrate, you're going to concentrate for the one and a half to two seconds when you're staring at the rim. Right now, David just needs to look up there, figure out what's going on, and as a leader on the team, he does need to know what's going on out there. Okay. I agree with you. Royce only with 12 points, all in the second half. Of course, uh, many of you know he has a sister that plays at Hot Springs High School in TRC that is uh, already highly recruited as a junior. A lot of schools looking at her. And you know, usually you could be a start getting into a comfort zone. You've got a four-point lead and stuff. But I'll uh -huh. tell you, against Arizona State, because they have so many guys that can shoot the three, and also because we've seen New Mexico come up with two or three turnovers in 10 or 11 wow. seconds, they probably will not have a lead that's comfortable enough going down the stretch. Remember the last minute, Mike, every time Arizona State scores, the clock will stop. Right. And fans here are leaving. I mean, there are a lot of fans that got up when the timeout was called, and uh, which, of course, is crazy. Four-point game with 39 seconds. Well, they want to put money in the meter up front. Is that what yeah, well, we found out you better put money in the meter down here. <laughs> it's going to cost you. <laughs> There's a look at Royce. He was going to be a red shirt this year. Dave Bliss uh, sat him out the first uh, couple of uh, exhibition games and and was hoping he might be able to redshirt him, but after what he saw, he felt like he needed him out front. And I think we've seen uh, Coach Bliss do that. Greg Brown, remember, set out half a year, and then Coach... Well, it wasn't quite half a year. I guess up until the New Mexico, Mexico State, State game, right? And uh, lots of times you think the team's going to go one way, and you decide, hey, I need that guy. Right. Gibson for the first one, rattles it through. David Gibson with six. Second one a little strong. It's a six-point, five-point game, 83-78. Lots of time left still. Riley off the long screen, off the mark. And Gibson knocks it out of bounds. That was a long shot. That was a long shot. Now you don't want to foul someone shooting a three-point shot. Lobo is uh, awful aggressive. 29 seconds to go. First looking for Veal, and we're going to have a hold inside on Gibson. And that's a critical mistake because no time off the clock. Five fouls now on David Gibson, and Arizona State will go to the line to have cut into the lead. 
This is where having a deep bench is very important. Kavasi Franklin, I tell you what, the guy is, we've seen some guts from him tonight too. They'll probably try and foul him since he's been on the bench for a while. He's got to have his head in the game. Lobos lead by five, 83-78. Riley at the free throw line reminds me of a young man who played at Virginia against New Mexico in the NIT a few years ago, a still who's now playing in the NBA, I believe, with the Denver Nuggets. Uh, similar size of, with the inside-outside capabilities. This is a very good player. Second team all Pac-10 last year. First one at the line. Too strong. Okay, this is where our Lobo fans may want him to make this one so they can, because Lobos have not been good at getting rebounds. Right. Second one is good, and let's see if you're right. To Charles Smith. Schornstein in the corner, back to Olney, quickly to Franklin, and he is fouled with 23 seconds left. It's a four-point game. Kavasi Franklin at the line to shoot two. And I believe these will be his first free throws of the night. They will be. This is where not having to shoot a one-on-one -on -one is so important because there's a lot more pressure when you're shooting a one-on-one. -on -one. Gosh, if I miss it, it's the same, of the, same as a turnover. Real quick on that one and missed the first one. Kavasi Franklin from Houston played at Howard College in the Western Junior College Athletic Association. It's the same league with the New Mexico Junior College. Gets the second one. Lobo's now 20 of 26 at the free throw line. Way outside Riley. Too strong. Who's there underneath? And we're going to have a whistle and a foul. And look who comes out of there. It's Franklin. One of the shorter guys on the court comes up with a big rebound. You know what? You don't have to score that quick. There's plenty of time left for Arizona State. You can get a better shot than Riley's taken the last two times down. Franklin will go back to the line. Think, look at this number. Eight for 23 at the free throw line for Arizona State. On their home court, that's just unbelievable. Yeah, that's uh, less than 50%, I think. <laughs> I'll get the calculator out. no good. We haven't seen much of Lenny Holly here in the second half, and I just uh, hope he gets his medical situation taken care of as the officials go over to the bench, to the scores table, to find out what's going on. Kavasi Franklin is complaining about something. He went to shoot it, then he thought they stopped the it. And then he, the crowd, well, he's, he's, he's thrown eliminated. off. There's something going on. The PA announcer has asked that the whistles in the crowd be stopped. I think Kabasi thought there was a whistle. Could he have given the referee back the ball and started over? Well, you want to make sure the ref knows what you're doing, though. Franklin gets the second one again. Six-point game, 13 seconds to go. 85-79, and this could seal it. Shornstein will bring it back out. Smart play by Shorty, and he is fouled with 4.6 seconds to go. I think we have an upset. I'll tell you what, in New Mexico, they stepped up for the test. Like you talked about, no one knew exactly how good they were, but they came in here. And I like the fact that they got down, I don't know, three or four times could have easily thrown in the towel, but they hung together and fought back. I'm not sure who uh, Coach Bliss is going up to see. He's Stony Case right now. Rudy Davalos over there. I, uh, Ernie Blackstone, the president of the Lobo Club. Dave, come on over here and congratulate us. And his mom's up in the uh, stands, too. That's right. First free throw is no good. Schornstein will try again and gets the second one. 86-79. The clock will sound, and that's it. No basket. New Mexico pulls off the upset on their first road trip of the season. There's Clayton Shields. And the rest of the New Mexico team as Arizona State heads to the locker room a bit stunned. New Mexico wins it tonight in Tempe, 86-79 over Arizona State. The whack over the Pac-10 tonight. We'll be back to Tempe after this. Nine in Tempe. Our Kelly Lickers biggest, the best play of the game. A key play late in the contest as the Lobos fought back to retake the lead. Charles Smith with the miss. Kenny Thomas with the putback, 
and that definitely fired up the New Mexico Lobos who go on to get the win. That's our Kelly Lickers, the biggest, the best play of the game. So Nelson France, the Lobos, as we spin around over <laughs> here, uh, the Lobos now 5-0 and as they gear up to play New Mexico State on Friday night. I'll tell you what, the Lobos have to be careful not to have a letdown. This was a huge win. I mean, you're playing against a quality team, a lot of talent. I mean, we see guys like Veal. You're expecting Riley. Veal lights it up. You have Lenny Holly. They have a lot of players. Lobos beat them. They cannot have a letdown. New Mexico, I, we don't know what the final total is on the turnovers, but at one point it was 24.